This video is sponsored by IK Multimedia. Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. IK Multimedia has just released Tone X, their AI powered tone modeling platform. So in this video, we're gonna check out some tones. I'm gonna capture my personal amp back there and I'm gonna show you how I integrate it into Amplitube. Let's go. If you followed my channel for a while now, then it's no secret that I'm a staunch user of IK Multimedia products. From Moto Bass and Moto Drums for my backing tracks, to T-Rex for my DAW plugins, and especially Amplitude for my guitar and gear demos. Having everything in the box makes my workflow quick and easy, and I am up and running in no time. However, I do have some wish list amp models that are not included in Amplitude, like this Dumble flavored amp back there that is custom built for me. So instead of making us wait for Amplitude updates and hoping that our favorite amps are finally included, IK Multimedia has released Tone X, which is all at once a tone browser, tone player, and dig this, AI powered tone modeler. What this means is that we can now capture our own personal amps and dirt pedals, save and use them in our Amplitude presets, and even upload them to Tone.net for other users to browse, download, and play through. Big thanks to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this video and for giving me free reign in presenting ToneX to all you guys. You can check out ToneX for yourself, from the fully functioning free version, ToneX CS, to the different tiers of paid versions. Link is in the description. Okay, here's an overview of the Tone X app. Set your inputs and outputs in the audio preferences. Depending on your computer, you can get away with a small buffer size. Mine works great at 128. The layout should be familiar to Amplitube users. The main window shows the current amp model. Okay, so which is a British style rock amp. Sounds good. Uh, the upper strip shows you the signal chain. So there's a noise gate available, which if you turn it on and up the threshold, see, nice and quiet. This box right here is the amp model. So these are all your options right here. And the next drop down menu box thingy is your cab models. And then if you want to, you can add compression. So let's turn that on. Okay. Finally, if you wanna play with some reverb, you can also add that on as well. As for the reverb, you have several options. Spring one. Nice, spring two. Little boing ear, <laughs> spring three. It's a little, little wider sounding. You heard the room already, so here's the plate. Now, the feel is quite immediate and it does not uh, require you to change your touch. Now, the bottom half of the window is where you can scroll through the different available presets. So right now I am on the Black Angus preset. Um, I can scroll up and go through the different uh, <laughs> available tones. Let's see, Texan Coffee. <laughs> Minimum dirt. Deluxe rhythm. Okay, lots more to choose from. 
Now the right part of the window contains all the available tone model collections grouped according to category. So let's see, uh, I have a Soldano based on a Soldano SLO 100. And uh, when you click on that, the presets area will show just the Soldano style presets. <laughs> Of course, with the main window, you can tweak to your heart's content uh, using the virtual knob. Now, of course, the availability of these tone model collections will be dependent on which Tone X version you go with. You get limited availability with Tone X CS, and you get everything when you get Tone X Max. Now, the top portion of the window has the Tone Net button. Just register for an account, and you can download any one of the shared tone models, up to 20 for Tone XCS, and you get more as you go up the uh, paid tiers. When you're in Tone.net, you can scroll down the hundreds of shared presets or just use the search button. So let's see. Let's search for a, uh, let's say, Cameron app. Okay, let's do that return oh here's a whole bunch let's see let's try this Cameron CCV <laughs> Now, some of these shared tone models are off the amp only. So you'll need to add a cab or even your own IR in the signal chain. So let's see, take for example, this TC100 high gain. So that is clearly not treated. Let's go up to the signal chain right here and let's pick a four by 12. Jump drive. German gentleman. <laughs> and like I mentioned, you can also choose your own custom IR. So let's see. I have four right here. And I have a Celestron Creamback IR. Or I have a Mesa 4x12 from Ownhammer. Or you can click on this Rubik's Cube looking icon and this is the virtual speaker with the virtual mics to, you know, uh, play with the placement. Lots of options. Now, so far I've been playing my own guitar through these tone models. However, if you find yourself away from your guitar and you're still browsing tone.net, you can use the uh, onboard playing samples to audition these different tone models. So let's see the Cameron. And then I can just hit the play button right here. <laughs> Sounds good. And I have different choices from here when you click on the uh, drop down menu. So let's see. Solo. Okay, I think I like this one, so I'm gonna hit download. Download now, and then make sure to give a like to the <laughs> Tonex user uh, to show my appreciation. And now, the Cameron CCV with IR is now part of my tone collection. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now let's talk about capturing your own tones. The whole tone capturing process is covered by majority of the Tone X videos here on YouTube. So I won't dive too deep into that, but rather I'll just share with you my own experience. To use modeling, you'll need the Tone X capture box, which acts as the go between your amp and your audio interface. So the signals are captured at the proper levels. There are setups for amps with mic cabs, amps and cabs separate, and even amps only. You can also use the Tone X capture box as a reamp to feed your pedals to either tone capture or just for uh, outboard signal processing. I decided to capture my star ODS HRM amplifier with the Avatar Widebody 2x12, loaded with EVM12S speakers. This amp and cab is personal enough to make it worth capturing to add to my Tone X and Amplitube library. I went with the amp and mic cab setup using the default settings, and the whole capture process took around 20 minutes or so. And before I let you hear the results, I'm gonna share my thoughts first. Admittedly, the whole tone capture process is the most daunting aspect of Tone X. When even my fellow guitar YouTubers encounter initial setup confusion for tone capturing, I can only imagine how discombobulating it will be for those with not much recording skills and experience. So I'm showing you guys my first attempt at capturing my amp, warts and all. And it's kind of a fail. For the most part, I just threw the mic in front of the cab with no regard for mic positioning at all, just like a total newbie would. So I hit the capture button and this is the result. As you can hear, the captured tone has too much sub bass and is quite scooped. By no means is it a good tone capture. Now the Tone X EQ is tweakable enough, uh, so the virtual amp controls are usable, but it's not enough to make it sound decent. But here's the amazing thing. The Tone X AI modeling was able to separate the amp and cab, even though I captured both at the same time in a single signal chain. So I can easily change the woofy cab and choose something else. Let's say uh, four by 12, tight Brit. <laughs> And changing out the cab makes a huge difference in making my tone capture quite usable. So let's see, let's search for um, a similar ODS style cab. Click all, and there it is. Cleaner ODS rock. <laughs> Compare it with my cab. <laughs> and this is something that other Tone X videos here on YouTube have not touched on. Knowing that Tone X can sort out even the worst tone capture encourages me to refine and experiment with my own tone modeling. And I'm sure that this will encourage those of you out there who are intimidated by this whole capture process. Okay, let's go back to uh, our tone model collections. I'm gonna select the Overdrive Special, which is the included Dumble amp model in Tone X. And let's uh, choose a preset, uh, Rich Mids. 
Now let's compare that with my captured Dumble style amp. PVC star Odia. There you go. <laughs> That's my amp. Okay, uh, let's tweak the knobs. Put in some reverb and let's clean up the noise gate. There you go. Reverb. <laughs> okay, so you can treat Tone X as your virtual amp and cab and chain it with your favorite plugins in your DAW. But while this offers the most flexibility, it can be a resource hog and is fairly tedious if you just want to plug in and jam. But thankfully, with the latest update, Tone X is now both an amp and pedal option within Amplitube. Now let's build a preset. Okay, so here we are in Amplitube. Uh, first thing we're going to change out is the amp model. I can scroll. Um, on the right side to choose from the amps, or you can go to the drop down menu right here and select Tone X, and that is it. You get a uh, prompt saying that tone, this Tone X model may have a cabinet, but I'm going to show you how to tweak that even further. So on the top drop down, click on that, and you get the Tone X presets. So let's search for my. There it is, PDC Star ODS HRM. Let's click that and get out. Amplitude automatically disables the cab if there is an onboard cab with the Tone X models. There again, that is my ugly sounding <laughs> tone capture preset. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this knob right here and that will bring up the Tone X signal chain. So I can disable this cab and enable the Amplitube cab. <laughs> You'll probably want to go with this option. That way you can play around with the uh, cab options within Amplitude, like, you know, bringing up the room, maybe splitting it into two cabs with different cab types. Let's say Brit 9000. Then go into the mixer and pan that hard left, hard right there and there. And so on and so forth. But I'm gonna stick to just one cab for now. And I might even go with a custom IR. Let's use uh, my friend Glenn Fricker's uh, V30 IR. <laughs> Okay, I like that. And then let's tighten up the sound. I feel like I need a drive pedal in front of it. Let's go to pedal and there it is. Tone X stomp, we'll drag it onto the signal chain. And now we can choose between the available Tone X drive pedal. So this is TS-808 Bright Mid. <laughs> Something dark. And it's 
too dark. Okay, let's tweak this. I'm gonna lower the gain. <laughs> Let's add, I like the Stargate. We'll put that before the clan. Okay, so let's look for a delay. Let's do the X time. Put it after the amp and then let's go for a big reverb. Well, might as well use the X space as well. So there it is. Put it after. Okay, so let's start with X space. Maybe a nice plate. Plate 69. Okay, pre delay, clear it up, little modulation. Okay, so let's go to X time and I just want a vintage tape, tape 76. Let's say I have this preset. We'll save this for now. PDC star ODS HRM wet. Okay, I have my preset saved with my own personal amp and a clon style overdrive before it. Okay, so now with my preset saved, I can go on YouTube. Let's see, let's find something to jam on. Elevated jam tracks. Heartbroken Blues Ballad, guitar backing track in B minor. <laughs> Let's do that.
So with my preset saved, I can jam with it using the standalone Amplitube app. If I'm recording, I can load Amplitube into Logic and have my entire guitar signal chain within one plugin. And for iOS users, all you'll need is an interface like the iRig HD2, and then Amplitube and Tone X can be with you wherever you go. While all this sounds great, there's a couple of things about Tone X that you need to know. Regarding the capture process, it's likely that the reamp signal coming from your audio interface is not strong enough. So there's a pretty big level difference between your guitar plugged straight into the amp and the reamp signal coming from the audio interface and tone capture box. The workaround is to use a clean boost pedal between your audio interface and the tone X capture box to match the signal levels. That way you drive your amp the way you want it to. The other thing worth noting is that the Amplitube and Tone X integration is still not complete, which makes it tricky to share Amplitube presets that use the Tone X tone models. In fact, such presets won't even upload to Tone.net. And even if I offer it as an outside download, when you open the preset in Amplitube, it will contain some missing elements. I can also show you the incomplete integration using the preset that I just put together earlier. So we're back here in Amplitube. I am in the Tone X amp model. And if I pull up the signal chain, you can clearly see that my <laughs> bad woofy cabinet is bypassed within the Tone X uh, block. <laughs> and that I am using the third party IR within its own block. So if I go to a different preset, let's say my Soldano style preset, and then I go back to the previous one, you can see that the bypassed cab is once again active. So this tells me that Amplitube still can't save any tweaks to the Tone X signal chain uh, within itself. The good news is that IK Multimedia is aware of these issues and is working on solutions for these problems. So I'm not too worried. Based on my user experience, they constantly send out software updates to further develop and make their products better. Well, there you have it. That is Tonex from IK Multimedia, an AI-powered platform that lets you browse, play, and capture tone either on its own or integrated into an Amplitude rig. Again, big thanks to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this video and for being such a great friend and supporter of my channel. They're always offering great deals and bundles on IK products, including Amplitude and Tonex. So make sure to check out their website, ikmultimedia.com. Link is in the description. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think about Tone X in the comment section. Click on an end card to go watch my Amplitude Pedals demo video, then go grab your guitar and play something. You all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers, guys.